I always make these types of videos to help young finance professionals like yourself to get started on your FP&A journey. Hey, in this video, we are going to look at how to do a simple variance analysis that is a actuals versus budget comparison. Before we go into the details, let's look at our template. So we have three sheets on this file and the first sheet is the template where we will do the calculations for actuals versus budget. Then there is a sheet where you have the budget numbers month wise and then there is a third sheet which has the actual numbers month on month. So let's begin. So our first step would be to since we have two sections on our template one is the monthly section and the other one is the year to date section so in order to populate the year to date section we will first need to calculate the year to date section in the respective actuals and budget tab so let's do that first so i go to the actuals tab i am copying the format of the monthly budget table and i go and i do a format copy So what I basically did was I copied the format, I went into paste and I did a copy format. So let me copy the label and rename it as actuals here to date. Copy the labels here as well. Now I'll formulate this section. Let me put a sum here. And what I'll do is I'll do a freeze on the column and press enter and then formula paste this section. Alt H V F which is pasting formulas. Let's see if this works. So for April it's taking one month, for May it's taking two months, for July or no, for August it's taking five months, for March it's taking full year number so it's working fine. Now what I'll do is I'll do the same thing on the budget sheet, I'll copy this. I'll do a paste special format, copy the labels again, change this to budget year to date and again do the same thing to calculate the year to date numbers. I freeze this column so that it doesn't move. Close the brackets here and then basically extrapolate or paste special or paste the formulas again. As you can see uh, the monthly year to date numbers have been updated in this section. Alright, so next step what we do is we will create a so since we want to do a dynamic table, by dynamic what I mean is we want to change the months when we change the drop down. So we will create a data validation first. So let me put a month in here with I'm just making sure we have it in the same format as we have it on the sheet. We'll pick April. And what I'll do is in order to create a drop down list, I'll first create a source for data validation. To April 21 to May 21. And then I'll drag this until maybe March 22. I'll just label this as months. 
now what I'll do next is I'll go here on the month cell and I'll go to data I'll get inside data validation on the data validation box I'll select allow list and I'll then pick our list and the key press ok hope this let's see if this works yeah it works so we got the months drop down ready next is what we will do is we want to use a hlookup formula to formulate this table so that when we change the month it automatically updates the values as well it automatically updates the values as well so let's to so in order to do that let's give a lookup reference what I'll do is I'll do a uh, one because this is in date format it's not allowing me to put in a number so let me change the date format to number format and then I'll just add one and drag this until the bottom so basically this is a reference that we'll use to pull basically this is the reference we'll use inside our hlookup formula all right so let's try the hlookup formula we want to look up the month so this is the actual column so we'll go to the actual sheet from this section basically we'll freeze the month we'll freeze the table selection and we'll select a reference so we need to do the reference on both the sheets okay let's again try the hlookup formula select the month freeze it select the source table which is actuals month freeze that and then select the row reference will not freeze this because we need this to move when we change the rows okay I'm just doing a control D or a formula paste in the cells now I'm just deleting the formulas that will be existing right let's see see if this is picking up the correct values Apple net profit is 45 April net profit is 45 let's see if it changes with October when I do October yes it changes so it's working fine let me do the same formula in the budget sheet so I'll, what I'll do is I'll do it again H lookup on the month I'll select the budget table this time to a freeze on both the month and the table selection and then I'll do link to the lookup reference same thing I'll just do a formula paste for the year to date column we'll do the same thing again but we'll now reference the year to date uh, tables instead of the monthly tables this is actuals we need october i go to actuals year to date i freeze the say i do the same thing again select the reference and then i just do a formula paste again repeating 
the same procedure but now for the year to date budget numbers do it quickly this time because you're doing it for the third time now something went wrong because I did not freeze the month here let me do that and try again okay all right so let's now test if this is working fine uh, let's just do Jan 22 and see if the year-to-date numbers are matching for actuals and budget our actual net profit is 477 let's go to Jan 22 YTD our actual is 477 so that's so that is working awesome I do check the budget it's 476 and it's 476 uh, January month budget is 49 January month budget is 49 all right so our formulas are working fine uh, now let's move on to the percentage of sales section so in this what we'll do is we will calculate a percentage of the sales for each of the line items so for example for discount we'll do a percentage of gross sales and for items below the net sales we'll use net sales as a basis Okay, and I'll do the same thing here. Freeze this so that I can do a drop down, so that I can do a formula tag. Again, I'm freezing the notice I'm freezing the uh, net sales cell so that it remains constant when I drag the formulas down and for the last time again same thing freeze this and copy the formulas down you could also do a called HVF which is your base formula shortcut alright so we have the numbers and the percentage of sales columns populated now let's do the variances so for gross sales your variance would be actuals minus the budget so you did um, you did higher than your actual so it should be positive for your discount it should be your budget minus actuals because you gave away less discount than you budgeted which is a good thing right so it should be a positive number for net sales again you would do actuals minus budget the way you read this is you did three higher in actuals and the budget hence this number is positive which is actually the opposite for expenses because if you do higher then you are doing worse so in case of expenses we will do budget minus actuals How do you read this? You read this, you spend one extra compared to the budget, so it's negative. And hence you do a budget minus actuals.
Now let's calculate the percentage variance. So this should actually be percentage. Variance. The way you do this is you pick up the variance and then divide it by the base. So in case this, in case of sales, the base is your budget. You did basically better than your budget. For discounts, your base is your actuals. So you did 18% better in terms of your discounts. Like give you gave less discounts. You can copy the formula for gross sales for net. Same as for for net sales and basically for all the expenses. So if you notice whenever you are spending more than the budget it's doing a negative and wherever you're spending less than the budget it's showing a positive for hands and it's the opposite for sales so if you do more than the budget it's a positive variance and if you do less than the budget then it's a negative variance you can copy the entire section here paste it here and i think we are done with our variance calculations I will include the links to both a empty template as well as a completed template so that you can practice. If you have any questions uh, on this, you can drop in a comment below or reach out to me. Thank you so much. Please do like this video and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you are looking to start your career into FPNA, then be sure to subscribe this channel and keep tuning in for more videos like this.